that would be. Yes. I want to turn yes. from cream corn to your <laughs> relationship history. All right. You've had three marriages. Yeah. Uh, first one lasted six years. Yeah. The second one lasted two years. Yeah. And the last one lasted a year. So I think I know why you haven't got remarried. You wouldn't have enough time to actually get divorced on no. this graph. Oh, I see. They're, they're lasting shorter periods. Well, I suppose that, you know, you have to actually be in love with the person that you marry. You have to really be committed to them. And I just I'm, don't have that commitment. I'm committed to my family. You know, and so henceforth, that relationship has lasted, you know, the longest. Do you think you were in love with all your husbands? No. Any of them? No, I don't think so. Really? Mm. That's an amazing thing to say, isn't it? But it's the truth. Yeah, it's not amazing. Oh, well, all right. You walked up at, you, you have church weddings? No. Let me see. I think there's a Vegas, and maybe one was a church, and one was a house wedding. Why did you do it if you weren't in love with them? Because I wanted to feel normal. And it seemed to me that if I was married, I'd have a much normal, more normal life. But clearly that's not the case. That's not a good reason to get married. You have to actually want a life with someone um, through ups and downs. And I, I just discovered that wasn't for me. How many times have you been in love? Once. Who with? A man. Go on. I've gone as far as I'm going. <laughs> Can I chuck a name in? You could chuck a name. Ted? You asking me if I was in love with Ted? Is that the man I'm talking about? Yes. No. Really? Mm hmm. It, would we know who the person is? No, and that's the beauty. Wow, of it. that's amazing. Yes, I know. This is bombshell time. I, well, it's not real bombshell, but I snuck a couple in on y'all and you nobody did? knew. Do you, the, the one person you properly loved is mm -hmm. someone we don't know about? Yeah. And that's okay. Is this a recent thing? No, no, no. It was a long time ago. Do you wish you'd married that person? No. Why? Because what I know now is I don't want to live with <laughs> I don't want to live with anyone. Yeah, but you, was, you tried with I, the wrong guys. No, no, I think I tried it with probably the right guys for other people. But it's, it's not, it wasn't them, it was me. Because I actually like living on my own. I like being able to go up and down my stairs, farting like a queen, and not having to explain. I like being able to smoke all over my house and not have someone go, eh. You know, I like my privacy. I like it. But didn't you like being in love? I don't know if I did. Because it's the hardest thing. If you, if you already have a family, being in love with someone is very difficult. Because you want them to know that you also love them and you want your family to know that you love them and it's a very difficult choice to have to make you know it's a difficult choice to have to make and once you realize that it's one or the other you say oh okay did you think that guy knows that he's the only man you've ever loved yes yes you still talk to him yeah we talk all the time He's got two great kids and a great wife. So he's, he's married and got two Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. I feel quite sad for you. Why? I don't know. I just feel like... I'm the, you know, people say that all the time. People always say, you know, I'm going to fix you up with somebody. I go, no, no. I don't mean that. No. I, just mean, I just feel sad that this guy that you loved ended up with somebody else and it didn't work out for you. Well, but, you know, lots of other things did. So <laughs> I didn't do too badly. <laughs> Not too badly at all. Are you, are, you, are you on the dating scene? No. Please, honey. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Not really. Me sitting in a bar. Hey, <laughs> in the bar? No, no. Um, I never was much of a dater. I'm not a real go-out kind of person, though. In the last couple of months, I've, lots of my friends are on stage now, mm -hmm. so I'm getting to go see lots of shows. But um, I was never a real dater. I either meet somebody and then we hang out and whatever happens, happens, but I'm really a, a singular person. Do you get lonely? I don't think so. I keep trying to, <laughs> you know? I keep trying to go, oh, 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 boy, I really want someone in my life. But I, I don't, you know, because the greatest thing is that there are people in my life that I love and adore. Some of them are married, some of them are not, but I don't have to, I don't have to do any more than love them. I don't have to do any more than that. And I actually like that, 
because I love some of these folks that I know. I mean, with my all my heart. But boy, do I want them come to live with me? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. What's been good about you? One of the many good things about you, but your big campaign on behalf of gay marriage, I think won you a lot of support uh, from a lot of people in America. Contentious thing to do. Mm. Are you disappointed that President Obama, who I know you're a massive fan of and supported, hasn't really done that much for gay marriage? Well, you know, I, I'm, I'm not surprised by it because, you know, very few presidents can uh, go on and make the change they want to make. And he was very clear that he was conflicted about it. And once he made his decision, he talked to everybody and said, look, I'm, I'm going to go for it. And I got to, you know, the guy's got cojones, I have to say, you know, he said, we're going to the generals and we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. We're going to pass uh, the law getting rid of don't ask, don't tell. Mm -hmm. We're doing it because it's hurtful to our citizens. Now, what does he feel in his heart? He has no problem with gay folks. He has a problem with gay marriage. I suggest he never marry a gay person. Then he'll always know that his heart is good. <laughs> but he's looking out for gay people in the way that he can. And in this country, it's huge that anything got done. Mm. At all. At all. Do you think we're getting there, perhaps? Well, listen, we, we didn't tip over the edge in spite of the fact that, you know, everybody's saying, oh, he hasn't done anything. Or, you know, we didn't go over the edge. He pulled us back. And has he spent a lot of money? Probably. But there was a lot of money spent before. I'm <laughs> sick of it. I'm sick of, you know, endless taxes by telephone companies and, you know, people telling me that I, I can't have a hamburger from McDonald's because I should know that it's going to make me obese. No. No, no, no. Get off my back. Get off my... You want me to stop smoking cigarettes? Stop selling them. <laughs> right? Right. I mean, because they're making money from the taxes, they don't mind that. But we're concerned about your health. Cigarettes cost, in some states, $13 a pack. See, and until they stop selling them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smoke. Good for you. Yeah, I think Why so. Why you do whatever you want to do? Well, not whatever I want to do, because I, I would not smoke without saying to you, does this bother you? If it does, I won't do it. Because I'm very, I'm aware that other people may not feel the same way. But... I do think that I was raised well, you were raised well by intelligent people for the most part, both of us, and that we know how to say to someone, would this bother you if I did that? Can I take a little break? Now you're nicely fired up. And when I'm we not come fired back, up. I want to know what you really think of the ladies of The View. <laughs> if anything was going to put me back in my shell, you just did. <laughs>